everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Art So Wonderful show. I have two incredible ladies with me work with us on the Art So Wonderful um, team. First, I want to say that um, um, come by our Art So Wonderful art gallery at the University Mall. We uh, are in, 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 in come around and see all the beautiful art that our uh, director, our director, Alondra de la Cuesta, installed. So nice in there, 5,000 square feet. Then check out, go on the food court and check out the beautiful mural that we uh, also installed working with uh, Michael Mullins, an illustrator, and our um, Art So Wonderful Mural Coalition team. So right now, I'm Bruce Wilson, Executive Director of Service Rendered Incorporated, and Art So Wonderful is a program of Service Rendered. So I want to introduce you to our guests, let them introduce themselves. Go right ahead. Hi, my name is Alex Both. Uh, I'm a studio art major and psychology major at the University of Vermont, and I'm also on the Mural Coalition team for Art So Wonderful. Uh, Caitlin Williams, I'm a senior in environmental studies with a double minor in public communications and political science at the University of Vermont. Um, I'm just here to talk about bees and change the chamber. Awesome. So, Wow, we got a lot going on, you know. Um, and so we're gonna start off with uh, Alex, who um, is doing this incredible mural right here on Center Street in Burlington. And it's, um, I'm gonna let you talk about it, Alex. Right, so um, I was commissioned by Charlie Handy, who is the owner of Handy's Towing and a lot of other buildings, including Simon's Deli. Uh, so this mural is on the back of Simon's Deli on Center Street. Uh, and it shows Charlie Handy's parents Simon and I think I heard you again. Anyways, she um it's it's featuring them on the wall in black and white and um they were community members so I I showed them really big in black and white and then I have um two Lebanese cedar trees because they're immigrants from Lebanon and they're standing on them and then I'm also going to add a large eagle on the top. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm still in the progress of it. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a picture shown on there, but yeah, I, it's almost done. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Well, we got a little reggae music in our video, nice. so that we we like that. You know, yeah. I, mean, I always thought we should open our show up with some music. I think we we should we should I, yeah, commission I think you should that, keep that going. her. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> to do like it. commission her. For yeah, to do that yeah, for us. Studio DJ. Fine up. But anyway, so um um. The mural that Alex is doing, um, Handy and Charlie and Joe and Joni and Anthony Handy, has been on our advisory board for over 15 years, and then they work with our programs, projects, and events, and help us as well. And the mural uh, Alex is putting up there is dedicated to their uh, parents, who um, who created all all the, the Handy, um, or they started them all. And um, the the man. And um, I was talking about his name Simon. So you see all the Simon stores everywhere all around the state, and I think in New Hampshire and a lot of other places. That's who was dedicated to Simon, the father. And what an incredible um, mural that Alex is putting up there. And, the, and, and she, you know, she, nine, nine out of nine, eight out of ten, you did it all, all by yourself. You, you did some help, little help here, yeah. tweaks from um, from um, our. Um, Art So Wonderful Mural Coalition and um, Burlington High School students are part of our team and you know, others, you know what I mean? You know, I, I, I pride the wall, I say, all that white you see, I did that, that was all me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a lot, it was a lot of work, I tell you, I had to prime that wall. You know? it and, oh, it's right. There was like had plastic all over the wall. Oh man, it was tons of yeah. uh, plaster or, you know, scrapings from old paint that we've done because that wall is all right. We, 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 we're the first ones to put murals on that wall in like 2001. And so, but it's been changed out since then with all the, all the mural designs. But we had, you know, God, you're right. That's great. I forgot <laughs> about famous. that. I knew, I knew it was hard for some reason. The easy part was painting. Yeah. So um, we want you to go down Center Street and, um, and um, check out that um, mural that Alice is doing and take a selfie in front of it. And if you take a selfie in front of it and send it to our art director, um, contact at artsowonderful.com to Alondra, we will try to send you something. We'll, you know, we'll put you in a raffle to win something, some cool stuff. So take a selfie in front of 
uh, Alex Miro on Center Street, Burlington. Send it to at artsowonderful.com. Uh, attention to Alondra or Allie, and we will put you in a raffle to win something. And so thanks. And also notice too that we have another cool mural right in the same block, um, down the street. Well, not the same wall, pretty much, but different look, different types. What I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Are you talking about Jamie's? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Say, go ahead. Yeah. So she's doing. Um, Following along with the botanical theme, it's um, she's doing some like abstract-looking flowers. Um, I believe it's in someone's hair, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's it's all about like uh, kind of accepting your own beauty and everything. She explained it to me a little yeah. bit. Uh, it's in the progress, but it's looking really great so far. And it's really cool because it like wraps around the corner of the yeah. building oh, yeah, and cool. continues on to the back. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for that one too. It, and uh, Charlie's gonna do one in the yeah. middle of me and Jamie's mural. Um, I saw his plans. I don't think did he start yet? I I, don't, I haven't been over there, but I don't think he started yeah. yet. But it's you remember what it's gonna be? Yeah, it's like so he was gonna continue with uh, my Lebanese ce cedars on the left and right, and then in the middle it was gonna be some like planetary um, type visuals. Um, so I think that'll look cool all together, you know, like the, all the nature scenes, and then with um, with Charlie and Simon's parents and everything. So yeah. Yeah, because it started from trees, right? It started right off the of trees from yeah. continuing from those. Yeah. So that's gonna be cool. Yeah, cool natural scene. Yeah. Yeah. So um, awesome. So as I um, as we get to um, and also to take a um selfie in front of those murals too, and uh, any any mural you see that says art so wonderful on it. Take a selfie in front of it, send it to at artsowonderful.com. Attention, Ali or Alondra de la Cuesta, our director, and um, we'll we'll put you in a raffle to win something cool, you know, from, from, from some gift card or something. Um, so now, as I see the bees flying around us, <laughs> oh, oh, you see those bees flying around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably because of Kaylin Williams. Uh, incredible lady from she's introduced herself and she's gonna be working on this B project and um, oh wow she's about to tell us about it and um, we just can't wait to work with her with volunteers and and do whatever everything she tells us to do she's working with one of our experts um, James Keys what um, what what we what we call Kaylin I call him like Bubba Bubba, Bubba B, Bubba B. <laughs> so yeah. so. He's incredible, man, and we're gonna have him on the show one day. With Kaylin's gonna host the show and have Bubba on. Go ahead, on Kaylin, tell us about your project. All right, so I am doing a pollinator garden for my final capstone for UVM. Um, if you don't know, Burlington and UVM are designated bee-friendly sites. So Burlington has a bee-friendly city designation, and UVM has a bee campus-friendly designation. Um, that being said, there aren't that many pollinator gardens that are actually around those areas. Some exist, but they're very disconnected. So my goal was to kind of try to connect all these spaces so that we would have more pollinators coming because pollinators being around are good for our own mental health, generally, and our own physical health as well. Um, and also we need to preserve the biodiversity of our native bee species. We have over 300 bees in Vermont that are native to Vermont, um, but we don't really talk about them or hear about them that much. So the project is really trying to introduce these bees to the larger Vermont populace so that they're aware that they exist and that they are also around. So while we try to save honeybees, we also need to preserve these bees as well. Um, so yeah, just a lot of interesting, fun stuff, learning a lot, um, whatever you can do to help pollinators, you absolutely should. Gardening is such a relaxing and rewarding experience. It's something that many people can do. I would argue pretty much all people could garden if they wanted to, and if you can do that, you can make it pollinator friendly so that you can attract all those beautiful butterflies to your backyard and get to enjoy them while they're here and giving you all these great ecological services. So yeah, you, you said that um that the bees attract butterflies. What else what other, what else do they attract? I mean what what's what's good about a bee, you know? What's good about a bee? <laughs> yeah. Um 
<laughs> well, <laughs> you could argue there's a lot of bad things about bees, mostly the stinger. But I mean, the good things really lie in what they provide for us. Um, I mean, you don't have flowers without bees. You don't have vegetation in general without bees. And other, I mean, others as well. We also forget about beetles. They're a major pollinator. Oh, really? They're not super effective because they just kind of walk up and then have to walk back down and then go find another one and walk back up and walk back rather than fly. But um, also hummingbirds. We have the red-throated hummingbird here in Vermont. I mean, they're beautiful and they, interesting facts. So no insects can see the color red or at least bees can't. So they don't pollinate red flowers or red plants because they can't like discern that color. So pretty much all red flowers are pollinated by hummingbirds in this state because they're like pretty much the only ones that go to red flowers. So um, yeah, I don't know, a lot of interesting Wow, <laughs> it's so funny because I used to see, growing up in Chicago, I used to see hummingbirds all the time, you know what I mean? Um, I really haven't seen any in Vermont all the years I've been here. Yeah, the other day, it was so funny. So I was sitting outside, um, just in someone's backyard, <laughs> and there was this hummingbird that just like, I don't know, I think my, sh my shorts were red, so I feel like that's why this hummingbird was really interested in me, but like, this hummingbird just like, was in my space the entire time. And I mean like flying up and like looking like directly at me. I, I feel like that shirt. never happens. They're like so afraid of people. Yeah, like, no, I mean, I was just sitting very still and it, I mean, so cool. it, it was just like around, but that thing like was flying around me. I bet checking out my shorts, I'm sure that he, she, they loved them. So they were like, I gotta take a peek at those shorts. That's so cool. But yeah, that was, I hadn't seen many hummingbirds myself until that moment. They do exist. Yeah. I gotta wear Someone. my resin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because being from Florida, we have a lot of different oh, hummingbirds. Yeah. So it's just like, I mean, it's such a treat to like just see them. Because they're just, I mean, as creatures, they're wonderful. And they're so cool because they just do everything that like they technically shouldn't be able to do, which is like flying, for yeah. instance, and like flying backwards and all that oh, yeah. fun stuff. So. Hovering. Um, hovering. Yeah. yeah that's it, what that one was doing yeah, over me. Just that would, this, that's, cool. that's amazing to see this hover, hover. Um, because it's like their wings are like bug wings are like where you come it's not like bird like yeah. wings they're like they're small they're so fast yeah too. oh man you can't see that so you can't cool. see them go yeah 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 it's so loud too when they fly like when they start flapping like it's just like it's just like this weird buzzing noise and you're just like what is that and yeah. then it's the hummingbird you're like you're so nosy like, that long beak yeah. I mean, what, what do you, what, what do you call a beak? <laughs> yeah, it's a beak. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing. So, what is, I mean, uh, so I wonder why it's so long. Though. Let's just get into the flowers probably now. Yeah, that's, they get the nectar. You get the nectar in there. Yeah. And go to the next flower. So, um, so what we gonna, so once you get the honey around um, UVM, what, we, what you gonna do with it? How you, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of different options. I think the best option is that on UVM, there is a lot of food insecurity, especially with the staff at UVM. And if you can, like, provide them with a sweet, nutritious treat, then you absolutely should. And any college students as well who are, like, in need of food. That would be my plan. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, so I can't wait to get started with and, and have a timeline for this? So, we're going to meet with the important peoples. Yeah, on the 21st, I'm going to have a whole pamphlet of like a complete design of the back of Bittersweet is where the first garden is going to be installed, Bittersweet Building at UVM. Um, so, yeah, pretty much the 21st, there will be like an actual plan. In the fall, it's going to be laying down compost, just leveling the area, making sure it's restored enough to start planting some things. And then probably within the coming spring, that's when most of the stuff would be planted. Because it's getting a little late in the season to start planting a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's perennials. Do they have, don't they have like a planetarium? Oh, I'm not planetarium. Some type of garden at the UVM? Yeah. In, in, indoor that we just you plant something inside over the winter? Yeah, they have a greenhouse. Greenhouse, um, yeah. I think you have to be... You, you can intern there, I'm pretty sure, or work there. Yeah, I'm not, okay. yeah, I'm not 100% sure how, like, who runs it, like, who's the governing body of that whole yeah. thing. But, um, I've 
not worked or interned there. No, I'm just saying, well, maybe somebody's there. We can put some, uh, get some seeds, seedlings going there. Oh, so absolutely. when the spring comes, we can already have them ready to go. So that, you know, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. So, and so what are the best flowers? I know Bubba was telling us a lot of things, a lot of flowers. He knows, he knows his stuff. Yeah. Um, but what, what's the best flowers, or what type of flowers are you going to be growing, or plants you're going to be growing for your um, bees? Um, the yeah. yeah. So I don't have a complete list yet, but something that Bubba had said, um, like the goldenrod right there, is something that bees generally really like, especially bumblebees, I believe, are like one of the main pollinators of goldenrod. Um, because it's a, the focus is biodiversity, there will be like a long range of plants because we want to be able to attract some of those specialists as well that only go to very like specific kind of plants and won't like go to goldenrod for instance. But like we have a trout lily bee which only pollinates trout lilies. Um, not saying we would grow trout lily lilies because I'm pretty sure they have to be in like water. Yeah, like a bog kind of situation which is not the yeah, that is not, not what's happening area. over there, but like Definitely. just for instance, like planting those kinds of flowers so that we can get some specialists in the area as well. So, mostly perennials, but some fun specialists. Bees, you're just gonna have to stay tuned to see uh, the completed yeah. garden. So, um, um, let's talk about a little bit about the type of help you're gonna need for um, for this project, you know, because we have we got some work to do, right, yeah. for us building it. Yeah, so, I mean, the main part would be like the manual labor of installing a garden, which is like leveling, putting out the compost, building any um, flower boxes for like stairwells and stuff because you want to make sure that like there's points of access at like every corner that you can get um, pollinators at. Like also building, um, I'm blanking on the name, but what is the... You come up for the... the, the, for the trellis? Honey, so, well, yeah, that would be one. What but like it one, it would be... So like when you have it in the ground and then there's a box around it. Yeah, sure. That's... I'm for blanking on the name, but what that's called. Very professional. Mm -hmm. but so, right. it's <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, but it's essentially just building that stuff. Planting the flowers. There might be more trees that we have to plant because where it's located there's a road that is very busy and one thing is that pollinators tend to not like tons of noise um because it can really it just messes with things and i mean in general like animals don't like tons of noise so it's about planting trees as well to kind of drown out the noise from the street into the garden so it's i mean it's just gardening i guess in general is like the main You like bubble some of white uh, gravel or something underneath yeah. to start it up, right? That's cool. I just can't wait to get it going. Um, yeah. And so basically, you're just going to need, we just need people to do the, the maintenance part. I mean, also and the maintenance, right? The building and the maintenance, right? Yeah. yeah. So yes. I would, yeah. So I would assume that, um, so because it's at UVN, there will be like college students involved as well, which is a great connecting opportunity for people who are going into college thinking about going to UVM because you don't Definitely. only just make those connections with other college students who are going to go off and make their own connections but also mm -hmm. with professors as well which is always an incredibly valuable resource to have yeah well, our program United College Club was certainly help going to help them sustain that yeah. that's a great idea and you're the first probably right yeah, it's th I don't think. Have, have, have anybody else done this project type of project before? No, there's a beekeeping club at UVM, so oh. they keep bees, and they have um, some pollinator space. I don't, I'm not in the beekeeping club, so I don't know the full extent of what they have. But just being a UVM student living on campus, witnessing like what the campus looks like, there aren't that many spaces there available. So if we can add more spaces to encourage the beekeeping club to keep, you know, keeping those bees and also invite other bees to come in, invite some of Bubba Bee's bees yeah, to come in. He's got the best bees. bees. The best bees. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So thank you for that question. We're gonna talk a little bit more to you in a minute about your other projects you're working on. Alex, so ah, What's next, Alice? You know, we still, um, well, you and I, what's, what's next for Mural Projects? You wanna, what you want to do? 
I don't know. I mean, I haven't gotten any opportunities yet yeah. for any other murals, yeah. but uh, if you have any other walls, I'd love well, to do, do any. <laughs> University Mall, I told you that. Oh, and, right, um, yeah, yeah. And um, also, um, you know, I've seen your work. You sent me some um, work you did, finished, that just needs to be hung in an art gallery. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of my own paintings recently. I've been getting a lot into that. Um, so I usually do my own oil paintings, which I want to definitely expand. Um, yeah, and put stuff in galleries. I know I'm I am on track to put some stuff in Neckers as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but I definitely want to do more murals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you like that. Huh? I do, that, yeah. That's your first mural. Yeah, right? I know, yeah. I, it's so crazy, I like, know. to work on something that big. I've never, like, done a portrait that size oh, wow. before. And it was really hard to figure out the proportions of everything. Yeah. Um, so that took me a little, like, planning. And I mean, that was awesome, too. Like, you know, I, like I said, talked to our group. Who's, who, you know, who can do portraits? You oh, know, yeah. Like, me! <laughs> All right, you got the job. I was, yeah, I was really happy to see that. I know, that. <laughs> I know. And I was like, you showed me some stuff. I'm like, wow. And you can draw anything. Yeah, so person, I, 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 or anything. Yeah, I like painting a lot. So, so that last, this, you just sent me something, right? Oh, yeah. Like a painting. Is that a, is that a what, is, what is that? That's an old painting? Was that an old painting? Well, well, no, that's I. That's what I was actually, what was it? What the, was it? Is it an old painting or? Oh, yeah, it was oil. Um, but it was over. Um, I got some like plasticky gel type thing, huh. um, and I put that over a painting I did, and then I carved it. So I carved like little cubes and like prism shapes, and then I painted o oil over the like acrylic gel. Um, these little these little faces from this website called This Person Does Not Exist, and it's a uh, it's a AI generated face. So the the person doesn't exist. It's a, it's like an amalgamation of three different faces. Uh, and sometimes the algorithm messes up because there's like two people in one picture. So in the side, there's like a, there's some some little like creepy people <laughs> going out the side. So I painted that on the borders, and then it's a little grid. Um, it's on my Instagram if you want to check it out. Uh, I, it's uh, Alex Both. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But more paintings to come um, in that vein. I, I really like what I was doing with that. I found some other AI websites that I want to um, make more art out of. So yeah. So now what is, is that? It's not on. Is that some, it's not on campus, right? Yeah, it's on campus. Oh, campus. It's on yeah, stretch campus. Oh, okay. On All right. Cool, man. Yeah. I was like, I was like, do I know that person? <laughs> then you say somebody you don't know. You know, yeah. somebody that's made up. I'm thinking like, I know that person. No, somewhere. it's so crazy to go through the website too, because you can just like keep refreshing, and then you get new faces. And sometimes they look like people you know, yeah. and it's so cute because they, they, they're just not You real. don't know them. Yeah. Hey, yeah, maybe it, like that's the really person you know is mixed in there. Yeah, some, some way, right? Yeah. So that's cool. So you got, how many works you got on canvas? Uh, I don't know. Some, I, I do a lot. That's like what I do for fun, usually. I got just a spot for you at the Art Gallery University. Just a, cool. it's, the, it's, it's called the Alex spot. <laughs> just, for real, for real. All right, cool. Nice one, too. Yeah, so I got to crank more out, definitely. How many pieces? Uh, I only have two up here that are done, but I, I'm, I'm working on uh, this one right now. I'm going to work on it later, later today. So, <laughs> I'll show you. I think we'll probably meet at tomorrow on Sunday. I don't know if everybody, no, everybody didn't like Oh, on, on, no, Sunday. I think it's Monday. Is it Monday? Yeah. Oh, Monday the 14th. Yeah, I yeah. don't think everybody um, had like, um, you know, said they're going to come. I think it's like 130 at University Mall. Okay. In our gallery, because um, I board, might have class. Well, you gotta just let us know. Yeah, I'll so text that, you. you know, is, yeah, you two came with us. Yeah. yeah. But um, um, so we we got walls. We got um, uh, for, we got more walls. We'll go over, and we have um, we have um, all right, got a lot of space for your art. Uh, I can't wait to see your art, and you can sell it. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. I'm gonna give you 100 percent wherever you sell. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, nobody in our gallery get 100 percent, but you are. Okay. And Kaylee is. <laughs> so cool. let's, let's just squeeze off a little talk about before we go to your other project because you have incredible art too. <laughs> art on objects and all kind of cool things. Let's talk about that for a minute. Sure. Um, I thrift a lot. I really believe in reusing objects, reworking stuff um, because we want to keep as much stuff out of land. 
pills as we possibly can. Um, and a lot of ways to do that for me is to make it just to paint on it. Like I will go and just get watering cans that people have decided they don't want it anymore and just paint on them. I like to paint on lampshades too because there's a lot that like come in and they're just kind of like, it's kind of boring. So like, you know, you can paint on it and make it more interesting. Yeah. Does that and make the light um, it looks change a little when you have um, the light on? Sort of, not really. It depends on how much paint is on there and yeah. what like the color of the lamp is. Um, to be honest, like I have, maybe I'll send a picture and one will be up there of like a lampshade that I have that has a Spanish Ibex on it. I really only like painting animals. I don't like anything else. So um, I don't know. When I turn it on, it looks like demonic. It looks crazy. Whoa, so I'm cool. just kind of like, oh, okay. So like maybe they're best for like just looking at, but you can also turn the light on. Just don't look at the lampshade for yeah. too long and then you're like, this looks weird. They're like creepy shadow animals. Yeah. But that's kind of, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's your thing, maybe that's what you want. That's definitely <laughs> for somebody. Um, so yeah, I like painting on spoons too. Whoa. Yeah, my family is from Wales, my dad is Welsh, and there's a Welsh tradition of carving spoons, mostly from like a man who would want to propose to a girl, he would carve her a spoon. Oh wow. And they're very intricate and very cool, you should definitely look it up. Um, but I can't carve, and that would, if I tried to do that, that would be a disaster. I'm very clumsy, so that I would lose a finger. So, uh, at least one. So I was like, I'll just paint on it instead. <laughs> so I can, yeah. So I can kind of be in touch with that cultural root, but do it in a way that makes sense to me and also won't make me lose any appendages that I might need later. So, 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 so we're looking forward to it. I've seen, I've seen y'all, you showed me, you sent me stuff. So um, you want to let people know if they want to look at your art, you got an uh, Instagram account or some type of yes. way to look at it. <laughs> um, so my Instagram is at Caitlin the Greatland with a couple of underscores. There will probably be a link up there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, check it out. If you want a spoon, let me know. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be something in our gallery. Yeah. We're oh, gonna spoon. Uh, no, that's going to be cool, right? Yeah. I, I, our objects, the painting on objects is so, so good, so incredible, you know. I love seeing it. When she showed me that, like, I seen that all her different art, you know, like the green water thing, you know. Yeah. I was like, that was awesome. Yeah. See, that color was incredible, too. What color was that? What color was that only um, watering um, spout? Watering can. So it yeah. was like a lime green, yeah. very, very green. Um, and I painted, like, some fishes in it. I Maybe a picture. Yeah. So it's easier to show than to try to talk sure, about. Yeah, but sure, yeah, definitely a lot of colors. I like things with a lot of colors yeah. in them too. Just when I, I leave mural and um, Jamie Bedard, she she love colors. Don't, those colors are yeah. amazing. And yeah. On, on um, Center Street mural. Yeah, and really great like, vibrant um, colors. Huh? Really great vibrant colors. Yeah, vibrant those colors. And we like. It look red. We know that's not red. What color? You know, she got some. You know, some other fancy red color or green or blue. Or, her mind goes like she goes around the corner, like like she did the mural, like yeah. goes, thought one time goes around the corner. Yeah. So um, all right, everybody. So to, we're not we, we're not done yet because we want you to talk about. But what well, we want to announce that today is September 11th. This is and it's a historical day, you know. Like in um, 2001, you know, we had some horrific. Um, you know, our twin Tower, towers was not was um, not down you know, by um, terrorism. So I um, just want to wish um, all the um, people who survived it well, and we want to say to the people who didn't survive the um, 9/11, um, um, rest in peace. And um, you know, this is something we always we uh, will remember. It's um, it's an important day for our history. Um, sad day, sad, sad day. I mean, yeah. boy. Do anybody remember what they were doing on that day? Or, that was, you know, that was 2000, you were 40 years old. <laughs> yeah, it was like two or three. Uh -huh. but, well, yeah. for me, I was, um, I was working at, I was um, one of the directors at Community Justice Centers in Burlington. And I was coming in to work, and one of my staff people said, Bruce, they just knocked down at one of the Twin Towers. I'm like, terrorism, they just ran their plane because they like, come on woman, you know what I mean? And then out she looking at it on TV and I seen it, boom! And then and then just as she said that, 
They said, oh no, the news people were talking about, oh no, they bought the, they, they just flew into another one. And so, sure enough, I, you know, I'm still stunned is the way I, I still feel that way I felt the day when I first got up and you know, this happened. And so, wow, what a, what a deal, man. It's so crazy. So, I think now it's 9-11, and um, hope people, um, was, you know, thank God people survived it. And then for the people who didn't, I uh, rest in peace. And uh, we're with you, you know. Um, you know, we're all um, Americans, and um, you know, we just the terrorism. We, we won't, we won't stand, stand for it. We won't, you know, we're gonna, you know, try to get rid of it somehow. So, all right. So back to the show, right. <laughs> Caitlin. So you got some things going on with, um, with like, like a chamber of commerce, um, working with the U.S. chamber of commerce, or some, something similar to that. Yeah. Let's talk about that. So there is a lobbying body in Washington, D.C. called the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. They are not to be confused with the actual Chamber of Commerce in Congress. They are a separate entity that claim to support and represent the interest of corporate businesses um, and like the American people. Uh, however, those same corporate bodies have gone to say that this group does not represent their interests. They mostly peddle big oil, big pharma, big um, farming in general. Um, they're definitely not for the little guy and they really try their best to make sure that the little guy, so like us, don't um, get nearly like enough success in trying to push different policies like climate policy in particular, something that they're really against, um, which is why I am particularly interested in this and why most people are interested. Um, so it is a group mostly comprised of college students. Uh, we do a lot of our work on social media because that is one of the best like organizing tools that we've ever created like as a species. So, and I mean, we're all on it all the time anyway. So if you're gonna be on it, you can like really do some big change and educate yourself, learn more about these different groups, um, and really just be a part of something that is bigger than yourself. And I mean, it may not feel like you're doing that much, but you do a lot when you um, go on there and you engage with these different platforms. So the Twitter is Change US uh, Chamber, which will be somewhere here, as well as the Instagram and the Facebook. You can get involved just by engaging with social media and our social media in particular. Uh, we do a lot of calls with different corporate groups like Coca-Cola for instance. So um, you could also potentially be a part of that. Just see what it's like communicating with these corporate businesses because I mean that is, they are extremely important and foundational to the society that we've built at this point. So they are definitely a entity that you want to familiarize yourself with and learn how to communicate with because it's important. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just like the group is amazing. They work so hard. They do so much and they really need your support in helping them spread their message of what is happening behind closed doors. And so you think, in I feel too, that you were saying that um, you like to see more high school kids get involved in, in this project. So, um, yeah, we're going to have it all up on the screen for them on it to um, see the listings, how they can get involved. But, um, yeah, this is their world. We're in the middle school, high school, and it was your guys. kind of still is your world, you know, college students. But now it's younger, it's people younger than you, you know. They, we got to... Um, hear their ideas and their suggestions and get them involved and some of them don't even know nothing about this stuff but that's the smart thing about it is like you know get involved in our arts and in our music programs and get involved in our, like your B program and um, legislative stuff you know um, um, you know uh, education you know, education they don't know they they smart they real smart but some things they don't know about and, they don't, and also what they don't know is that they can get involved in these things. You know? yeah. And we want them to. Absolutely. It's important that they do. Yeah, I mean, man. So, um, and also we're working with um, Veronica on her, uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, you know, on the climate group, the, um, the group she's put, the, the high school students about, um, I know she want to do something like climate, you know, we'll talk yeah. about education, about climate, we'll talk about um, environmental stuff, how can we make the world better, you know, but, can we do and, and this this kid Veronica is only uh, 
14, she's a freshman, she got this team, it was out there doing the murals. Mm -hmm. And um, they got this, she got this team, they're all freshmen, man, like Bronx High School. How wonderful is that? And she was saying, I was telling her, Kaylee, and I mean, you too, that uh, she was using environmental words. <laughs> Can you explain that to me? Like I was like, thinking, <laughs> please explain that to me. What that mean? You know? Wow. So I'm so happy that we're working with them. Both of all of us been working with um, her and her group. I forget. She, I forget the name of her. The, the name of the group. You know? Climate for climate change for youth or something like that. But um, they'll be hearing a lot about it because we're gonna put it right up on the central level um, when it come down to work with her. With these, these, these young kids, um, and I'm, I'm proud of proud of her. You know? It's coming to us because she learned about us and she, you know people hear about us and they like you know, email me or and how can I get involved? Like just say it, you involved. Yeah, that's we, what I did. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. How did you get involved? You just did it. I am. Yeah. I just saw the Instagram page. Yeah. That's good because that's important because we want everybody involved too because I just want to say that uh, Art So Wonderful is is a program of Service Rendered Incorporated. And Service Rendered Incorporated have all these programs underneath it. And we have over 50 awards. And we pride ourselves on education. We educate around drugs, alcohol, tobacco. And, um, and and we do all this. We have a music program, an art program. We have, um, now we got a, a B program, an environmental program, you know. And we do murals everywhere. You see, um, all, we have 60% of the murals everywhere. And, and our whole thing is about how can we get people involved we want all of you involved too. We have um, we have an incredible uh, network of individuals who we work with, and uh, so we, you know, even if you even if you don't do what we what we're doing, that um, even if you don't do what we're doing in our programs, we know somebody who's doing it. So don't hesitate to contact us. Cause that's how we that's how we are. Uh, you know, I can say famous. But, that's how we are famous on uh, the things we do and have over 50 awards. Bruce Wilson don't have 50 awards. It's the people who I serve have 50 awards. People like uh, Kaylin and Alex, who has part of these, you know, who helps us with these awards, get these awards. And so, um, and, and we know the best, we know the people who do all the work. You know, if you want to be a ballerina, we know that person. If you want to be a, a congressman, we know Bernie. Yeah, you read Bernie's letter that I read. <laughs> yes, Bernie sent us a letter on, um, on our uh, grand opening for, um, August, what was that, August 21st. To, and, um, and Alex read, read the, <laughs> she read the letter from Bernie. So we know Bernie, we know Lady, we know Governor, Mayors. Businessmen, they're all our friends. They support our programs, and we're very happy. We wouldn't be able to do none of this stuff without them. You know, having two art galleries and tons of programs and community events and free events everywhere. Else. And so we wouldn't be able to do it without people like you and our uh, constituents and peers around the state of Vermont. So, just so contact us. You know, you can contact us. At, you can say you can contact that. You can contact me, Bruce Wilson. 817 at gmail.com. How simple is that? And I'll I'll get back with you in a second. So I don't know how much time we got. How much time we got? Oh, we're at 40 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> parting thoughts. <laughs> how, how much time we got? Parting thoughts. Oh, we parting go right thoughts? here. Go ahead, Alex. You are. Go ahead with your parting thoughts. Um, go ahead. I don't know. It was great to talk with you guys. And it's a beautiful day in the park, oh, Battery yeah. Park. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, Cool opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming, yeah. guys. Cool. Thank you because, yeah. see, like I just said, none of this could be done without you. You know, I work for you. I serve you. You don't serve me. A lot. Of, you know, some people think that you should serve them, but not me. Everything I do is, is I serve everybody I work for. So thank That's you. What's thank you. So thank wonderful. You. We're so wonderful at Art So Wonderful. <laughs> Go ahead, Kayla. Give us some parting words. Look. Um, I think this is a really good example of, so I just walked into Bruce's gallery with like zero expectations of anything, so that we are presented with so many different opportunities in our lives, you just need to turn the knob and open that door, yeah. so like just don't be afraid, if you feel like you want to make these connections, like, I mean, they're all around you all the time, you just need to open your eyes and kind of see that these opportunities are here for you. Yeah. 
so just, I don't know, if you feel like you can't do something that's crazy, just do it. And you're going to have crazy results that you probably couldn't even imagine that you have. So those are my parting thoughts. Cool. Yes. Well said, well said. Yeah. Well, just want to thank my <laughs> wonderful guests, as both, and Caitlin Williams for being on our show. Yeah. And um, they'll, they're going to be hosting their own Dago shows because somebody's going to do a radio show with me. I forget it, both of y'all or somebody. The radio station, the radio show we're going to be doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be the, podcast. it's going to be the Alex Both and the Kaylin Bumblebee show <laughs> <laughs> with Bruce. <laughs> so we look forward for our radio show coming up, too. And um, and um, we're going to be doing uh, more of these cable shows since we've been doing them since 2001. And hopefully you two will do your separate one. You like, we need, definitely need to do one for a beat project. Yeah. You definitely need to do one for the mural project. And we'll set it up. Just let me know when you're ready to do it. Yeah. So thank you everyone for tuning in to the Art So Wonderful Show. I'm Bruce Wilson. Have a good evening.